manufacturing industry is going through a huge amount of disruption, like everywhere else, even in the UK. Uh, and and this disruption um, is 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 really uh, touching on the basics of of, of whether some of these uh, companies and organizations within this industry can survive. It it's, it's almost a question of survival for them. Um, and and really, in order to meet the, this this uh, challenge, they have to change the way they are doing businesses. So they have to change the three critical blocks, which is design, build, and the distribution or after sales, as we call it. Um, and and the solutions that we get on on board uh, will help manufacturers really put the single thread almost through all these three stages, which is the design, build, and after sales. So the answer is really different for every single organization, but you can categorize it into three distinct areas. Um, the first thing is in, improving business operations. Um, the second thing is really around improving your products and services. And the third thing is around, um, is around transforming your business model and changing the marketplace that you operate in. Um, we, um, the types of organizations we work with will really start with the, the first one that I mentioned, but have a vision that supports all three. Um, and if you take something really simple like how often is our products and service being used and consumed by our customers, that piece of data persists across all three use cases that I went through. So it's, um, it's about being able to pick something that delivers value across all three of, your, of, of those categories and then starting with the one that's going to deliver the most business impact first. IoT, the security around IoT, the way the people, processes, and uh, things, which is IoT as a core, can all connect in this hyper-connected world to get to get greater efficiencies, more innovation, and, and really transform the way they're doing business is what they're talking about. They believe in it, and they need some help in just walking that journey. So I think um, you're going to have more data than you've ever had before as a, as a manufacturing organization once you start collecting more and more data from your processes and your products and how they're being used and so on. And actually, it makes it a lot easier to make better decisions um, for, for, for your business. So if take an example, one of our customers today, before we, um, before we engage with them, they had no idea how often the consumers of their technology and their products that they manufacture was actually being used by their customers. Now they're able to give their sales teams accurate numbers of how each and every one of their customers is using the, uh, the products that they're selling. And for them, it's just a, a huge benefit to be able to be really customer focused and understand how to work internally to create the right outcome for that customer because they absolutely have those insights into the business. The British manufacturer is, uh, is facing a lot of challenges in the manufacturing arena. So it is from, um, you know, the markets require new augmented products at a very rapid successive speed. So they new, need new introductions of new products very fast because that's how consumer preferences are changing. Uh, the, the supply chains are now global and hence hugely complex. Um, and, and really there are many more uh, areas where uh, there could be uh, there could be opportunities to transform and have new sources of revenue than uh, than just focusing on what they have traditionally been doing so if i was to just look at it in those three ways the three three areas where which are the key uh, challenges for them are to really get more efficiency to innovate faster and to transform and and um, really uh, you know, we as Microsoft, we, we kind of get the solutions which could get them to do all of these three things. So I think from a British manufacturing point of view, it goes beyond the actual manufacturing of products. Um, and I think everyone knows the limitations of how much efficiency can be gained in a factory. But there are no limitations in terms of what happens beyond the factory. So the products and services that you're delivering, how they're being delivered, how you can... Um, can improve the the aftercare and after sale service to your end user by doing things like predictive maintenance and predictive um, predictive servicing of those um, of the things that you're selling to them and manufacturing for them. Um, and I think that's the the thing that's quite often um, overlooked. Um, it's how much can be gained is kind of unlimited in terms of your operational efficiency and the customer benefit of being able to be more efficient as an organisation. Mm -hmm.